and welcome regression or linear regression in statistics and now this is turn of starting calculations we have a case and in which we are going to solve the whole case in two parts in the first part we are going to calculate the coefficients of regression byx as well as bxy and coefficient of correlation and then at the end we shall prove that the coefficient of correlation is the geometric mean of the two coefficients of regression and in the second part next lecture or next video lecture we shall say find out the equations of the lines of regression and we shall also find out estimated values of y and x respectively when some value is known of x and y let us start we have a case with two variables x and y and the values are here let us first of all find out the summation of these two original values or other original variables and see the range of the values is very narrow we can use these values directly for the purpose of calculation but we need three more columns three more summations because to substitute in two formula as well as the in the formula of i mean formula of coefficient of correlation we need five summations sigma x sigma y sigma x y sigma x square and sigma y square so let us first find out the summation of these two 6 plus 2 8 10 plus 10 18 plus 4 32 plus 8 30 sigma x is 30 that means x bar will be 30 divided by n that is 5 so x bar is 6 so we can have another alternative to use the formula of formula having the summation of the deviations taken from actual mean but since this is the first case we are not going to use that formula we are going to use the straight formula 9 plus 11 20 plus 525 plus 8 33 plus 740 sigma y is 40 so y bar will be 40 by n 5 so y bar is 8 mean of x is 6 mean of y is 8 both are integers x into y 6 into 9 54 2 into 11 22 10 into 5 50 4 into 8 32 8 into 7 56 and the total comes to 240 that is sigma xy x square 6 square 36 2 square 4 10 square 100 4 square 16 8 square 64 so it comes to 40 plus 100 140 plus 80 220 sigma x square 220 now it is turn of y square 9 square 81, 11 square 121, 5 square 25, 8 square 64, 7 square 49 and its total comes to 340. Okay, now we have all 5 summations. So we can easily calculate all the 3 coefficients. Let's start. First is the coefficient of regression. Number one is of y on x, that is b y x, and b y x is n sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y upon sigma x square minus sigma x whole square. <coughs> See, we can substitute these four summations directly in the formula. So I tell this is the easiest way to find out the coefficient of regression, coefficients of regression as well as coefficient of correlation because in all other formula we need some calculations before preparing the table. Okay, 5 is n, sigma xy is 214 minus sigma x is 30, sigma y is 40 upon and sigma x square is 5 into sigma x square is 220 minus 30 square that is 1070 minus 1200 
upon 1100 minus 900. So ultimately it is minus 130 upon 200. So the coefficient of regression of y on x that is byx is minus 0.65. It is minus 0.65. Another is the coefficient of regression of x on y that is b x y what is the formula of b x y the numerator remains the same n sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y upon now y is independent variable denominator is always made up of independent variable n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square let us substitute the values n is 5 214 minus 13 to 40 the same numerator upon now n 5 sigma y square is 340 minus 40 square so it is 1070 minus 1200 as was in the previous case 340 into 5, 1700 minus 1600. So it is minus 130 upon 100. So BXY is minus 1.3. See, one of the coefficients of regression is greater than 1 if we ignore the sign. Another is less than 1. Sign of both the coefficients must be same. Because sign is dependent on the numerator and only numerator can be negative or positive. Since the numerator is negative, the sign of the coefficient is also negative. Now let us calculate coefficient of correlation. Coefficient of correlation is again the same numerator and sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y both the denominators will be here but with the sign of square root upon under root n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into under root n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square all the values will be same but the effect of these two signs of square root and their product is very significant 5 into 214 minus 30 into 40 upon under root 5 into 220 minus 30 square if you directly substitute the values from these two processes that is also allowed because it is nothing but the repetition of substitution of the values 5 into 340 minus 40 square <coughs> So it is 1070 minus 1200 in the numerator. In the denominator it is 1100 minus 900 square root. Into under root 1700 minus 1600. So it will be minus 130 upon under root. 200 into under root 100. Now you have more than one alternative available to simplify this one. Yes. Minus 130 divided by either you can first take the square roots of these two and then multiply them. Or you can multiply them first and then take the square root. Yes. It will be under root 20,000. So it is minus 130 divided by 141.42 so the coefficient of correlation is again minus 0 0.919 approximately you can say it is minus 0.92 see the sign of all the three coefficients is same remember the property the sign of coefficient of correlation as well as the coefficients of regression is always same because sign is dependent on numerator and the numerator is same in all the three formulas. That's why 
the sign must be same. Now we know that another property is the product of the two coefficients of regression is exactly equal to the square of the two coefficients of regression. Therefore, the coefficient of correlation is square root of the product of the coefficients of regression. In other words, if we multiply two factors and then get its square root, it is called geometric mean of the two factors. So, coefficient of correlation is geometric mean of the coefficients of regression. Let us check it with the values of BYX as well as BXY. It is minus 1.3, sorry, I must maintain the order, minus 0 0.65 into minus 1.3. So it is <coughs> under root point eight four five. Under root point eight four five. Okay. So we can say that it is positive or negative. Square root of point eight four five. That also comes to point nine one nine. Yes. What about this? Whether because the square root of 0.845 can either be negative or positive. What should be in this case? Since the sign of the coefficients of regression is negative, the sign of the coefficient of correlation must be negative. So, coefficient of correlation comes to minus 0.919 or minus 0.92 approximately. See, the answer of the coefficient of correlation is the same. We obtained it through two different methods but this is the proof of the fact that the coefficient of correlation is the geometric mean of the two coefficients of regression. So this was the easiest possible way to calculate the coefficients of regression. Yes, this was part one of the solution of this case. In the next lecture we are going to cover the process of finding the lines of regression or the equations of the lines of regression for the same case with the help of these four results x bar y bar by x and bxy that's it thank you very much